Hey guys, how's it going? Thomas here. Welcome back to another Factory video. I think this is the seventh video in our little series here. Now, in our last video, what we was doing was we was actually setting up some basic production right here. And uh, we were setting up these um, basically furnaces and stuff to actually make um, iron plates. In the middle right here, I actually had to put um, an underground belt with a telephone pole. And I was like, this don't really make sense. And um, what it was, was these two telephone poles here was actually uh, too far apart. I just moved them up a little bit. And now everything looks good. And I just have the belts run straight. And um, this here, and um, what I did, said was I was going to expand over here more to the side. So now you guys can see we actually have four steel plate bases coming all the way over here and just so you guys know i placed all of this crap by hand this took me probably about an hour to get all this stuff lined up here i spent a lot of freaking time laying all this shit out um but yeah and the splitters here are working good it just balances it over so it does you know come in onto the side there so that's doing its job everything comes together here at the bottom and what i do is i like to just run like one belt come down here loop it and just run run belt here and then i'll just come back and go to the next one the next one the next one and this is kind of what we ended up with now these split this right here was just kind of a coincidence because you have this line here and then this line which are these two are completely different separate but the reason i kind of like this is because you can actually throw um, a splitter here if you want to and you can actually tie the lines together right there and then you can kind of tie them together here in the middle which is the default one here you know which is where i bring everything to by default is this splitter right here and then i have one line coming off um but the fact of the matter is you don't really have to do that um you can have this here and stuff and if one line is not slack and it can pull from there and stuff as well so it, it, it is a good system it does work it's relatively balanced um what i am doing though is from on the side lines here i'm pulling one off of it and i'm running one line down here and we're actually doing steel plate production here and I'm running coal, one big line of coal that I didn't think I needed two lines of coal coming off from up there, so I did it this way. I was going to do um, some type of weapon research here, but I said, okay, well, we'll just do steel plates instead. And then I put a balancer in place right here, and then the steel plates kind of run all the way up my belt line here. Now, I don't really like this here because we're running eight wide across here. So if I ever have to expand, what I'd have to do is do underground belts and up, which my main line right comes right here. Oh, we got a problem right there. There should not be. That should not be in there. Let me grab that. I'm getting some uh, iron in my copper somewhere. I might have to actually set something up there to actually prevent that from happening. But um, I can. my main lines are going to keep going straight, and they'll just expand out in the future. But in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start our production up here for some research, because we've been needing to do research production for a while. Got a big alien attack right there, and um, yeah, they just go out pretty fast. But um, we are starting to get big spitters and stuff, so um, I am kind of concerned as far as getting my bases research up. Now, we do have um, our basic little research setup up here, which I set up earlier. And um, it looks like our coal and stuff starting to, uh, you know, weaken and stuff like that. Actually, we got a good fair amount of coal there. I mean, 20, 30K. I mean, that, that, I mean that's, that's fair. But um, as far as our base goes, our base is starting to look like an actual factorial base. Our main lines over here, they're kind of crammed together. And actually, a minute ago, I took my uh, copper plates and ran them up this way with my steel and ran it beside it. And then have my iron over here. But... Um, since we're doing research, I mean, I don't really need the steel plates for anything, so it kind of would just defeat the purpose. So, let's get started here. What I want to do is I want to set up my steel plate uh, research and all that stuff. So, we need copper plates, but more importantly, we also need our basic belts and stuff. So, I want to break this stuff all up here, because these lines, everything is just really close together. And I want to just try to get everything so my, it's off my main line away from that. Now, we'll just come over here. And we're just going to try to expand this stuff just a little bit. I'm not too sure how I want to actually get my main lines set up. But I think since we are going to be using assembly machines, I need to build about 20 assembly machines. So that's going to be the start. And as far as where my assembly machines are going to go, I think we're going to go somewhere along this route here. So we'll just run them like this. Um, this will be our input for our red potions. And uh, we're going to do 10 assembly machines. So we're going to do red to start with. So we'll do 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I think that might have been a mistake. Um, I have a bad feeling that was a mistake right there. Um, because what I need to do is I need to be able to feed from one side to the next and then drop my red potions. But I don't think it's going to really hurt me too awful much. So we're, we're just going to go ahead and roll with it. And as far as how my potions will set up here, 
we're going to repeat this process. Um, what we'll do is we're going to take one inserter and we're going to feed in on each side here. And um, this is what, how we're going to set this stuff all up, I guess. Now, I'm not too sure how this is going to all handle as far as... Yeah, we're actually, I'm going to delete this here. We'll redo all this here because this is not going to work. I, I don't, I'm afraid what's going to happen as far as how these assembly machines are going to function, we're not going to have enough, um, you, you know, places for the research. I mean, I'm going to pull off the main belt line and it's just going to overwhelm the opposite side. So there's too many belts and, you know, this is just, we'll just do it this way. This way it's safer and we'll just redo it. So there's three, four. Oh God, I'm going to drive you guys nuts. I know it now. All right, so there's 50. We just need to run up here until there's 40. I need to look at my uh, number there. So there's 40. So we got 10 of those now. So that's guaranteed 10. We'll run up here. We're going to go ahead and drop our main line up through here. Okay, now let's go ahead and this is where our potions will actually drop off the belts here. So we'll get those set up this way. Now we're starting to actually get summer, guys. I'm so, sorry, I'm just driving you a little nuts. I know it. <laughs> but, um, you know, this here is kind of like, uh, this is just going to be basic uh, red pot research right here that we're actually setting up. And as far as the belt input goes, we're going to do uh, one line of this is going to be nothing but copper. So that's just how this is not working. Okay, there we go. Now, so this is going to all be copper on this one line. And this is why it was important to set this stuff up the way I wanted to set it up here because I don't want to cause any problems. Um, as far as this copper goes, uh, let's, I'm not sure how I want to do that. Let's actually just bring the copper. We'll do it this way here. That way there's no, any type of conflict with it as far as the copper goes. And we'll just run it like that. Hmm. I try not to, I try to build stuff so that I don't have to go back relocate it at a later time. I know a lot of people uh, sometimes that can become a problem and stuff when it comes to different things. You can build something that's like, oh snap, I didn't mean to do that, and that's just a problem there. All right, so let's go ahead. As far as now our research goes, we're going to go ahead and build 10 more of these. So we have 50 there. We'll just drop this up to 40. And ultimately, I can just look at the row right below it, and that would be the way to ultimately go. So this is going to be our red potion research. So hopefully we have no problems. Um, and we'll actually, I think I'm going to do a separate video for our green potion research. But, um, I mean, there's so many get different ways you guys can actually set this stuff up. Uh, this should give me the way we're actually going to build this here. This should give us about two input per second, um, you know, or, or two potions per second. So we should have a good, uh, fair volume and stuff there. Um, as far as how I want to do this, um, I don't really want it that way. That's not what I want. Um, how can I do this? I'm trying to figure out how to fix this here. I don't know what I can do. We'll, we'll do, uh, no, that ain't going to work. Crap. Mm, let's see. I don't, see, I want all these to stay on one side of the belt. I don't want them to switch. We'll do this. This will work. Okay, so now we'll do an underground belt, which this is kind of probably a little bit dumb. I'm pretty sure some of you guys are probably saying, okay, yeah, that, that is dumb. But that... Well, hell, we just created the same problem we just had. Okay, we're redoing. We're basically recreating the problem. Okay, so there, that'll fix the problem. That is probably one of the dumbest looking designs of all time, but everything is going to stay on that one side of the belt, and that's what I want. I want it all to stay on that side of the belt. And as far as up here goes, I'm not sure how that'll work, but I don't really care at this point. But we'll just roll with it like that. So, um, actually, in the way we can fix this is we'll just. Um, I'm not sure how that'll work. Crap. We'll just, okay, we'll just leave it like that for now. I'll worry about that later on. All right, so this here is going to be our basic uh, belt set up here. And now on the front side, we need to actually put in our, you know, long-armed inserters here. This is going to allow us to pull this stuff in from both sides. And I'll just have to do it that way there because we're not going to be able to pull it there. I'm actually surprised some of you guys have actually been watching my videos for this long. I'm pretty sure some of you are like, oh my god, I'm ready to quit watching this guy. <laughs> but anyways, for those of you who have actually stuck around, I'm grateful. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this stuff all up and running here. So this is going to be our basic factory here input. So that should cover the, the big portion of uh, these factories. Hmm, keep getting in a rush here and it's like things don't really pan out. 
Um, I, I'm, I'm so just looking forward to like, you know, when we can actually have like, you know, construction robots, because instead of all this like running around, okay, we got to put this here, we got to put that there. How's this go? How's that go? No, it's just going to be all straightforward. So there we go. We'll do the red and we'll just do the red and now we're going to do more red. There we have it. All right. So there's our red bots. Now, the next thing that we have to do in addition to having copper is we actually have to have iron gears. So as far as these iron gears go, there's a couple of ways we can do that. And um, I am going to, let's see, I need to, I got to steal them off the main belt here, but we'll just basically do them like this here and then we'll loop back around and we'll stop right there. And now what I'm going to do is I got to get my iron gear production up and running. Now I shouldn't really need a whole lot of iron gears but I think if this all plans out, we'll, we'll put, um, I'm going to put an extra couple in here. I think I only need like three of these, but, um, you know, you know, you can actually add, we'll, we'll add a couple more. So three, four, five, six, we'll just put six in here. Uh, we only need three, but I'm going to add some extras. That way there is never going to be an issue with, oh, we, we, we don't have enough or something like that. Just add the extra, make sure everything runs fast. You know, don't don't risk stuff. You know, running slow or anything of that nature. Um, too many guys do that stuff, and it's just like you know, it's like oh, you gotta be real precise. I mean, don't be precise. Just build it, be done with it. Make sure everything freaking works. That way, you're not really running back and just redoing a lot of this crap over and over again. I mean, I see so many people doing that stuff. It's like, oh, it gets old. I mean, early game, it's easy, but you know, just build the stuff the right way. And there you have it. The gear system is all set up. We should have enough gears coming in there to actually supply every one of these researches just based on its current speed. Uh, we'll see how this all pans out. Um, that should research fast enough to supply all of these. So let's go ahead and watch it here and just test to make sure everything is functioning. Uh, we do got our red research coming out, so that's that's good. And I need to make sure those green lights make it all the way down. So are the gears going to make it all the way down? Pretty sure. I think all we need is three of these. I put six. Uh, that way there is no, oh, I don't have enough. Um, there should be plenty. I mean, really, I only need three right here, but we're going to put extras just to be on the safe side. And I could have used, probably put the, um, the copper on the same belt as the gears instead of having two belts here. I could have done that. Um, that's completely doable because the input on this is, you know, two copper per second, I think, and then it's also two gears per second. Um, you know, based on what I calculated here. So as far as it goes, if you look here at all of them, see how they're all lit up as green, that means everything is working. And um, if my math's right, I can delete two of these up here, but I'm just gonna leave them all that way. You know, there is no problem or anything like that. You can see there is a buildup. So um, there's definitely, you know, we are overproducing here. So, okay guys, we got our red research here up and running. Finally, finally, after all this time, we're finally able to start doing some red research. Um, that's just amazing. Um, I tried to get this stuff going earlier on and stuff like that. And uh, we just had that one little basic area. And now we got this nice uh, research facility. And I should have built this probably like an hour or two hours ago at least. And that way I wouldn't have had to worry about it. But um, yeah, I'm very, very happy right now. This is great. This is really great here. Um, just to make things, make sure that there is constantly a supplies here. I'm going to redo this a little bit here. Let's uh, just do this, shall we? I'm going to add one chest here. I'm going to do one here. And then on top of that, I'm going to pop that right here. Then we're going to throw in uh, that. And that way, everything, the way it's going to work is all of these here will go into this chest and then it'll feed into there as needed. So that'll be a great design right there. That'll work really nice as well to just feed in like that. And that'll make my life a hell of a lot easier. Now this red belt here, anywhere down on the side of this red belt here, I can actually drop green potions on it because of the basic setup. And if I actually delete this line, which I don't think I'll need that, I really don't. Oh snap, I did not want to do that. Um, we'll just do it. Yeah, okay, we'll just do it that away then. But this line here, I don't think I'm going to need it because my red's going to feed in here. And I think I'll put my green potions right up here on this side. And um, I'm going to figure that out. But anyways, guys, hopefully this video gave you an idea on how to actually set your uh, uh, red stuff up. You know, all it is, it's simple. Just iron plates, copper plates, gears. You need like three gear things. And then you need like about 20 factories here, 20 assembly machines. And that's so simple to do it. I know a lot of you guys have problems with this. Um, but this is like one of the really simple ones for the startup. So this is going to give us a good insight to what we need to do. But anyways, guys, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and peace out YouTube.